同学们好,我是张老师. In today's video, we will cover vocabulary related to family members. First, we'll start with the pronouns 这 for this and 那 for that. And then we'll learn female nouns and female family members, including 女人, 女孩子, 妈妈, 姐姐, 妹妹, 姐妹, 女儿, then we'll learn male nouns and male family members from 男人, 男孩子, 爸爸, 哥哥, 弟弟, 兄弟, 儿子. And then we'll learn describing oldest and youngest using 大 and 小. And verbs 有 and 没有, meaning have and have not. Possessive article 的 and the measure word 个. And finally, I'll introduce my family to you by showing you a photo. 这, 这, it means this. 那, 那, it means that. And that's the radical of 那. 照片, 照片, that means a photo. And this is the radical of of uh, the character Zhao. Now we're entering the female part. From previous lessons, you know that Yu is a standalone character, means female, and it can also be used as a radical. So, a female person, Nu Ren, Nu Ren means a woman. Ta. Ta. You can see here, nu as a radical is used on the left side of the, the character, and that means she or her. And remember that in Chinese, whether it's um, subject or object, um, the pronoun doesn't change. It's both ta or she and her. Ta shi nu ren. Ta shi nu ren. And you can guess from the context, that means she is a woman. Ta jiao li yo. Ta jiao li yo. Li yo is a fictional character in integrated Chinese. Ma ma. Ma ma. And remember, this second ma is a neutral tone, so it doesn't have a tone mark on it. We've learned this from pinyin lesson, and we know it means ma. And note that the left part is the radical giving the meaning of this character, whereas the right part gives the sound, ma, horse. So this um, whole character, ma, is a phonetic semantic character. Ta shi ma ma. Ma ma shi nu ren. Can you guess what they mean? Ta shi ma ma. She's mom. Ma ma shi nu ren. Mom is a woman. Hen hao. Now we learn the character for man, male. And again, this was shown as an example in showing you the characters that it's an ideographic character. The upper part means field. And the lower part means power. And then in ancient Chinese, men work in the fields. That's how the character man came into being. And of course, in modern societies with our newly defined society role, this doesn't always look the same in our modern society. Nan ren, nan ren. So like nu ren, a male person is a man. Ta. And note that for this character, it sounds the same as she, her, ha. The difference is that the radical is different. This is the person radical. Ta shi nan ren. Ta shi nan ren. He's a man. And this is our fictional character in integrated Chinese. Ta jiao wang peng. Ta jiao. Wang Peng, 
His name is Wang Peng. We know Ba Ba from our pinyin practice that it means dad. But let's take a look. So this is the, uh, the radical that gives the meaning of this character because this character Fu means father. And then Ba, the lower part, gives the sound Ba Ba. So Ba Ba is more informal, dad, whereas Fu is more formal, meaning father. So like mama, the characters ba ba, they are also phonetic, semantic. Means part of it gives its meaning, part of it gives its sound. Ta shi ba ba. Ba ba shi nan ren. Ta shi ba ba. Ba ba shi nan ren. You probably also guess from Previous examples. He is dad. Dad is a man. And how? And then, Baba, Mama means parents. Baba, Mama. Now we're going to look at siblings. First one, Jie Jie. Female character. So you know it's a female family member. That means the older sister. And remember, previously we have learned xiao jie, xiao jie, that means miss. Ta shi jie jie, jie jie shi nu ren. Ta shi jie jie, jie jie shi nu ren. She's older sister. Older sister is a woman. Mei mei, mei mei. So, also, we know it's a female family member, and it means younger sister. Jie mei means sisters. So it's a combination of older sister and younger sister. One more time. Jie mei. Ta shi mei mei. Mei mei shi nu ren. Ta shi mei mei. Mei mei. Shi Nu Ren. She is younger sister. Younger sister is a woman. Now we switch gears to look at some of the male family members. Ge ge. Ge ge. Older brother. Ta shi ge ge. Ge ge shi nan ren. Ta shi. Ge ge, ge ge shi nan ren. He is older brother. Older brother is a man. Di di, di di. So it means younger brother. And then when we want to say brothers, again we're combining older brother and younger brother. But when we say brothers, we don't say we don't say ge di. We say xiong di. 兄弟, meaning brothers, and 兄 also means older brother, and it's often used in more formal written Chinese, and that has, has been derived from history and has been used for many years. 兄弟, 他是弟弟, 弟弟是男人, 他是弟弟, 弟弟是男人。Yo, that's a verb, means to have or to exist. Mei, mei yo. Mei is an adverb, means not. And mei yo is the, uh, the negative form of yo, means not have. Yo, mei yo. Yo, mei yo. And to ask, you say, Yo mei yo, yo mei yo. Ni yo ge ge ma? Ni yo jie jie ma? Yo, do you have older brother? Do you have older sister? And we have previously learned that ma, when put at the end of a sentence, is uh, indicating that's a yes no question. Ni yo ge ge ma? If you have an older brother, you say, 我有哥哥, 
if you have an older sister, you say 我有姐姐. 你有弟弟吗? 你有妹妹吗? So again, do you have younger brother? Do you have younger sister? And it's a yes, no question. If you don't have any younger brother, you say 我没有弟弟. And if you don't have any younger sister, you say 我没有妹妹. 你有兄弟吗? 你有兄弟吗? That's brothers. Do you have brothers? 你有姐妹吗? 你有姐妹吗? That means uh, younger, younger, sorry, that means sisters. Do you have sisters? And if we want to talk about all kinds of possibility, older brother, younger brother, older sister, younger sister, siblings in Chinese, we can say 哥哥姐姐弟弟妹妹. But that seems like a very long word, isn't it? But we can shorten it by saying 兄弟姐妹. 兄弟姐妹. And that means siblings. So how do you say, do you have siblings? 你有兄弟姐妹吗? 你有兄弟姐妹吗? Now we're looking at two, uh, two adjectives that are opposite of each other. 大, meaning big, and 小, meaning small. So they're um, adjectives. Whereas if they are used in front of a family member, their meaning change slightly. 大哥 means the eldest brother. 大姐 means the eldest sister. 小弟 means the youngest brother. And 小妹 it means the youngest sister. So 大 here, the meaning derived from big to eldest. Whereas 小 the meaning derived from small to youngest. It still makes sense because they're connected. 孩子, 孩子. Once again, reminding you that this is a neutral tone, so you do not need a tone mark. And you can see here, this character means child. This radical means child. So does this word, child, 孩子. 你有孩子吗? 你有孩子吗? Do you have uh, do you have children? 男孩子. Previously we learned 男人, that is a male person, it's a man. So a male child, 男孩子, and you can see from the picture, it's a boy. Similarly, a male, sorry, a female child, 女孩子, 女孩子, that means a girl. Now we're looking at the possessive case, the possessive particle. The, it literally means S, as it's in uh, the, the same in, in English as far as the word order is concerned. And that's the radical. 你的爸爸, your dad. 你的妈妈, your mom. 你 the your older brother. 你的弟弟, your younger brother. 你的姐姐, your older sister. 你的弟弟, here I have another repetition. 你的弟弟。And uh, just corrected the typo here. 你的姐姐, your older sister. 你的妹妹, your younger sister. So we put the between a pronoun, the possessor, and then another noun, the possessed. So 女儿, 女儿, it means daughter. So from the part of 女, we know that it's a female family member. And how do you say mom? Mama. 儿子, 
儿子 it means son, son. And how do we say that? 爸爸，爸爸。你的爸爸有女儿吗？你的妈妈有儿子吗 ？So we can say that. Um, we can see from the meaning. Does your father? Does your father have a daughter? Does your mom have a son? So we can、um, enlarge our subject a little bit by making it more complicated into a phrase. And this is the verb, 有 have. This is the object, and this indicate a yes no question by having the 妈 at the end of the sentence. 个 It's a generic measure word used in Chinese. And to know that、um, we have lots of examples. 一个人 one person. 一个男人 one man. 一个女人 one woman. 一个中国人 one Chinese person. 一个美国人 one American person. 一个老师 ，one teacher。一个学生 ，one student。Now note that in、uh, Chinese we put a measure word between the numeral, the number, and then、uh, the noun or the pronoun. Whereas in English,、uh, measure word doesn't exist, so don't worry about.、Uh, you cannot translate it out、uh, word by word. But to know that in Chinese we do need the measure word here. And for different kinds of nouns, there are different measure words. But remember, "ge" is the most generic and most commonly used one. We'll come across more measure words as we learn more、uh, in our subsequent lessons. But for now, remember "ge." And "she" it means "who." It is a question pronoun. The radical means speech because we need to speak when asked a question. Gao, it's a surname. It means tall, and then again, it's used、uh, in one of the fictional characters in integrated Chinese textbook. He is who? He is Gao Wenzhong. He is Gao Wenzhong. Let's review a little bit. He is Gao. He is Gao Wenzhong. Finally, I'd like to show you my family picture, and you can see. 这是谁？这是我。我是张老师。I'd like to ask you these questions. 他是谁 ？I hope you figure out. She's mom. 他是妈妈。Second question. 他是谁？他是。爸爸 Note that both she and he sound the same. Ta, but the、uh, characters are different as far as the radicals are concerned. One is a female radical, and one has a person radical. Ta is who? Ta is sister. Sister. Finally, Ta is who? Ta is brother. 他是弟弟。Let's repeat one more time. 他是谁？他是妈妈。他是谁？他是爸爸。他是谁？他是姐姐。他是谁？他是弟弟。很好。And thank you for listening and watching this video today. 谢谢同学们。同学们，再见。